The iPhone 17 Air is getting closer to its launch, and with every passing week, more leaks are giving us a clearer picture of what to expect. The latest leak brings both good and not so good news. On the bright side, the device will come with a powerful new chip, but there's also a catch when it comes to graphics performance. According to well-known tipster at Fixed Focus on Weibo, the iPhone 17 Air will feature Apple's latest A19 Pro chip. This is great news for anyone who wants strong and efficient CPU performance. The A19 Pro is expected to deliver smooth multitasking, faster app launches, and overall better system responsiveness. For everyday use, from browsing to streaming, to light gaming, it should feel fast and fluid. However, when it comes to the GPU, things are a bit different. The iPhone 17 Air will reportedly come with a 5-core GPU. While this is still capable, it's a step down compared to the 6-core GPU you'll find in the iPhone 17 Pro models. That means that if you're into heavy gaming or demanding visual tasks like advanced video editing, the Pro models will have a noticeable edge. Apple seems to have made this choice deliberately. Reports say the GPU in the Air model will be downclocked to help the phone maintain its super slim design and control heat buildup. This means the company is prioritizing the Air's thin profile and thermal management over pushing the maximum graphics performance. So the trade-off here is design over raw GPU power. For some users, this compromise won't be a big deal. If you mainly use your phone for social media, photography, casual gaming, and regular apps, you probably won't notice much difference. But for gamers or creative professionals who push their devices to the limit, the Pro models will be the better choice. Interestingly, when we compare this approach to Chinese manufacturers like Huawei, Honor, and Xiaomi, they tend to take the opposite route. Instead of cutting back on performance for the sake of design, they often try to enhance component quality while still offering slim devices. That's why some users feel these brands offer more performance for the same or even lower prices. Still, it's important to remember that the iPhone 17 Air will share the same A19 Pro CPU as the Pro models. That's a significant upgrade compared to the base iPhone 17 models, which are expected to use the standard A19 chip. So even with the reduced GPU core count, the Air will still benefit from top-tier CPU performance. This makes the iPhone 17 Air an interesting middle option. It's slimmer and lighter than the Pro models, faster than the regular iPhone 17, and more affordable than the Pro variants. The only real sacrifice is the slightly weaker graphics performance. For many buyers, especially those who value design and portability, this could be a worthy trade-off. It's also worth noting that the iPhone 17 Air is part of Apple's ongoing strategy to make more distinct product tiers. This gives customers more targeted options instead of just regular and pro. The Air line seems aimed at people who want the premium feel and speed of a pro, but in a lighter and more stylish body. Some industry watchers think Apple's decision to limit GPU power is partly influenced by competition, especially from Huawei's upcoming Mate XTs. Huawei is expected to launch its new foldable flagship around the same time as the iPhone 17 series in September 2025. Apple may be trying to ensure that each iPhone model appeals to a specific audience to hold its ground against rivals. For now, all of this is based on leaks, so the final product might still bring surprises. But if these details are accurate, the iPhone 17 Air will likely be a great choice for users who value speed, efficiency, and a slim form factor, while not being too concerned about having the absolute best graphics performance. As we get closer to the official announcement, dummy models and more detailed leaks will likely reveal the full picture, including camera upgrades, battery capacity, and display improvements. One thing is certain Apple is not just refreshing its lineup this year, it's refining its strategy to cater to more specific user needs. In short, the iPhone 17 Air is shaping up to be a sleek, powerful device with some smart compromises. It won't beat the Pro in raw GPU performance, but for most users, it will deliver the perfect balance of power, design, and portability. And for Apple fans who have been waiting for a thinner, lighter iPhone with a Pro-level CPU, this might just be the ideal upgrade.